Greetings, YouTube. I just completed my stream and this message popped up. If you are watching this, it's not the evening because I am going to post produce this and then upload it in the morning. And so good morning to you in the United States or good afternoon slash evening, depending on if you're in another country. This is called the Big Boy Bundle. If you are wondering, you actually get to control when this pops up. This pops up after you have finished the third round, or maybe at least, I, I haven't checked this because I did all 100% at once, but at least the Ant-Man in Chapter 3. I'm not sure. Someone maybe comment below and let me know if you kind of do an express check and don't do 100% and say you just complete one path and then go straight to the boss and only complete like 15 or 16%. If this pops up, or do you have to do 100% of round three in order to see it? Regardless, at the end of round three, this pops up. And I will be comparing this directly to a very similar offer in so many ways that I have pulled up on my computer that you cannot see from June 11th, which was the Tier 4 Catalyst Bundle. The games wanted us to pay $49.99 or $50 United States, Unless you live in, say, Canada, where I've been told the conversion rate is absolutely terrible in this game. My apologies to all you Canadians. Such nice people that Kabam just says, hey, give us 30 or 40 more of your monetary value than, than the uh, dollar of the United States. But anyhow, uh, on June 11th, which was, you know, over a week ago, we were asked to pay $50 for five Tier 4 Basics, three Tier 4 Class Catalysts, five tier one alpha catalysts and 110,000 gold. So very much like that offer, we see five tier four basic catalysts, three tier four class catalysts, five tier one alphas, and then no gold. But the gold has been replaced with something much greater, literally the greater champion boost. If you don't know what these are, these are incredible. I value them at a minimum of 200 units. Some people have said they're worth 300 units a piece and I can't argue that because you cannot get them from the unit store. You can only get them in special offers like this one. And they are truly incredible for things like Alliance War, Legends Runs, Act 4 and Act 5 Completion. They are amazing. And as you can see, if you click on the item, you can boost your attack and health by 30% for an hour. That also really helps your PI in the arena, and I have taken advantage of that with minutes left on the boost while grinding. That's a very underrated aspect of those champion boosts as well. So here's the bottom line. You've got about a 1,000 units worth of these. Um, and then the rest of these boosts, I don't even really like to put them at a unit value because I think they're not that great. But for the top end players who need all the boosts they can in Alliance War, especially in Platinum, they're going to like to see those. Now, Tier 1, Tier 4, and uh, Class Catalyst and Tier 4 Basic Catalyst, those I would value at this point, ever, all of these items total at about 2,000 units. I would put them based on units. Now, given somebody's going to comment, how could you say they're worth 2,000 units? Well, I think that if you hoard your units, and I always say this, especially for the monthly uncollected offers, you're not spending cash. You're cashing in your battle chips on hopefully regular arena crystals, which consistently give better unit value than the uncollected ones. And you are not having to spend any cash on this. You get to determine when this offer pops up. This challenge is going to be around for another 27 days. So you have no rush if you don't have any units. And I just want to emphasize, whenever I say it's worth 2,000 units, I'm not saying you should spend 50 or $60 of your cash on it. I'm saying hoard those units and don't spend any cash. Now, of course, what makes this the big boy bundle, which side tangent, if you're wondering why it's called that, we were really not given any warning or explanation as to why suddenly every champion in the game had what was essentially a t-shirt tag of small, medium, large, or extra large, in their tags added to the game in the past month. Well, we know it was for this challenge and maybe some more things to come. And so this challenge is gonna give you champs that have that extra large tag by them. These are the biggest champs in the game. Dormammu, Hulk Ragnarok, Hulk, Red Hulk, Hulk Buster, Modok, Sentinel, King Groot, Kingpin, Juggernaut, Venom, or Venompool. And while there are a lot of solid champions in there, especially some of the community's favorite, Dormammu, Hulk Ragnarok, Red Hulk, Hulk, Modok, and Sentinel. There are also some trash champions. Hulk Buster being the worst, along with King Groot. Uh, Kingpin is a very average champion at this point in the game. 
Juggernaut Unawakened is absolutely terrible, and even Awakened cannot cause the damage that so many other champions can. Venom, another champion that's not trash but could use a buff majorly. And then Venom Pull, also a champion that's not trash but also not great. So what disappoints me about this crystal, it's one of the few times we've seen these random bundles occur and not have an undisputed god tier champ somewhere in the mix. Because there's only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 champions, or about half the champions in like a normal featured crystal. So you have a 1 out of 12 chance to get one of these. And I prefer to say it's worth it to get this crystal if there's at least 2 out of 12 champions that are in the quote-unquote god tier. We're talking about champs like Stark, Spidey, Blade, Ghost Rider, Archangel, Iceman, Hyperion, Medusa, etc. None of those champions are in here. We have some very high second tier champions like Dormammu and Red Hulk. But at the same time, it's not worth your units to get this, especially considering the word legendary usually implies a 20% drop rate for that five-star hero. And even if you got the five-star hero, it would not be a game changer except for the final boss in path four, which let's be honest, a five-star Hulkbuster versus something like a four-star Stark Spidey, I'd still take my chances on a four-star Stark Spidey, especially like a rank five awakened Stark Spidey. So yeah, giving this a grade as this is the title of the video, I'm going to give this a uh, C plus to a B minus. I think it would definitely be at least a mid tier B had we seen some God tier champs in this, but we don't. However, if you are super, super desperately thirsty for these tier four class catalysts and you really feel like this is your best chance to get them, and I empathize with those of you because I was not high at all on that June 11th tier four catalyst bundle, but I heard from many people who said, look, prof, we are not in an alliance that gets anything close to a tier four catalyst every uh, couple weeks in Alliance Quest. So we can't get tier four catalysts and we really need them. So this offer is much more important to me than it is to you. And I thought to myself, okay, I'm going to remember that. And the next time there's an offer with tier four class catalysts, I will be more empathizing and less elitist when it comes to talking about the casual uh, accumulation of tier four class catalysts. So I promised you I would do that. And now I am saying that I understand if you need to get this to get those, I just want you to know if you get a four star unawakened juggernaut, it's not going to be worth your 3,500 units. But regardless, do not get this if you have to spend any cash on it. If you need the units and you are a free to play player, wait until the last possible day to get this offer appear in the game and hopefully save up enough units for it to be free. I want you to know though, between now and when this challenge ends, July 4th, 2018 will be upon us. And if July 4th, 2017 is any indication, you will see God tier offers across the board for your units. So I would not spend 3,500 units, even if you really need this until after July 4th to see what the game gives you, because nothing's worse than emptying out and depleting all your units only to see a much better offer come in the game just a week and a half later. So C+, maybe for some people who need Tier 4 Class Catalyst, a B-, minus, but it's the champion pool that really causes me the most concern. Not that there are a crazy amount of trash champions in this, but there just aren't any really indefensible God Tier champs, and therefore I can't give it higher than a slightly above average grade, especially for free-to-play players. So that concludes my offer of the Big Boy Bundle. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and hopefully we will all enjoy Ant-Man vs. the Wasp. I love the first Ant-Man, and I'm very much looking forward to the second movie. Have a great day, YouTube. Thanks for watching.